So I've gotten this question a few times. How would you deploy your view uh, JS application to the internet? Right, so for that you could use maybe shared hosting, maybe you could use Dig DigitalOcean, Heroku or some kind of service like that. But in this episode I'm going to show you the service called Zeit or Zeit, which is actually a world-class static hosting for everything from Angular to React, Nuxt, Next, Svelte, whatever, uh, whatever popular front-end uh, framework is available right now Zite probably supports it. So it's actually a hosting that is going to give you a CLI tool in which you can write just something like now and it will deploy your site to the internet. Of course you can use custom domains and so on and as you will see pretty much it's free for your personal projects. So it's uh, HTTPS enabled, uh, it has continuous deployment, it has smart CDN uh, and unlimited websites and APIs and serverless functions. So this you get for free, come on. And if you wanna work with a team and so on, you would have to pay something, but I think it's worth it. So it's very, very simple. And as you will see, it supports a lot of front-end frameworks and it's super cool and easy to work with. So first thing you need to do, you need to join site. And to do that, you can just go right here, join for free. You can continue with GitHub or GitLab or with your email. I of course already did that, so I'm just going to go to login. And uh, one thing, one when you're joining, it's going to ask you to uh, set up your Git or GitLab integrations immediately, but you can skip that step. You will have a skip button, so you can do that. Once you do all that, uh, you will just uh, log in. I will now continue with my GitHub account and uh, I will show you how the dashboard for this looks. Okay, so now we are on the dashboard and as you can see, I already have a project right here, but not to worry because as I said before, on site you can have unlimited websites or projects. So next thing we need to do, we need to install that CLI tool that I talked about earlier. And to do that, you would just do something like npm install dash g now, or maybe if you have a system like mine, you would do sudo npm install dash g now. Right, uh, you can run that and this will install that CLI tool to your system. I already have it installed, so uh, that's why it uh, went uh, so fast. Now, after that, we can create our directory. So I'm going to do something like mkdir and I'm going to call it my, my awesome site. Also CD into it. Okay, so now that we are in, the, in, that, in that site, now this can be site that you already have, uh, but I'm going to show you how you can initialize a new site, new boilerplate for any of the supported front-end frameworks via uh, the now itself. So you can do something like now in it, right? And if you do this, you have some quote unquote examples. So you can have an AMP site, Angular site, Assembler, Aurelia, Branch, and as you can see, a lot of them. Hexo, Hugo, even Middleman that we covered on this site, uh, Next.js, Nuxt.js, which are pretty important. Uh, of course, a React site, Preact site, uh, you can have Storybook site, uh, View, and so on. So I'm going to create a View site but I'm not going to use this method right here because if I click view right now, it's going to create another directory in my awesome site directory, which is going to be called view. So I'm actually going to abort from this and I'm going to do now in it a view dot. So this is going to tell it that I wanna start a new view project but I wanna start it in this directory, so I don't want it to create a new directory. Okay, so if we list it, as you can see, we have something in that directory right now. Of course, whenever you install view, you would need to run npm install. Okay, now that this is installed, uh, this is uh, just view CLI 
application, right? So what you need to do is uh, what you can do right now is just run npm run dev. And this is going to create a port for us and we can view our site in the browser and then we can make changes to it. Okay, so this is our local network. We just paste this in. And this is our view site. Now we are going to make some changes to it and then push it up uh, to now. So now I'm just going to open up hello world view. Uh, I'm going to delete everything from here so that only this h1 is left and now i'm going to do something like save this check out if my site works right we have a template problem uh, because uh, the div is not ended okay so we are missing a div right here save it okay now welcome to your view.js app and i'm just going to change that message but we do that in a view in app.view so right here, okay, we are going to say hello site. Okay, save this, check it out. Okay, hello site. So now we change this. Let's say this is our site, we wanna deploy it. How do you deploy it? <laughs> well, as you will see, it's super, super easy. So all you have to do is uh, you would you would go to your uh, console you can go right here I'm going to CD out of this and CD into my awesome site and all the th all that I need to do is just right now okay so you get something like this you get this domain right here and you get your uh, quote-unquote production domain so if I go to this domain here if I go here as you can see this is my staging domain and the same thing will actually happen uh, for my production domain right okay great now probably as you can see here we now have two projects Zeit test and my awesome site and you can uh, check those projects right here. What are their domains and so on. So let's make another change and push it again. Uh, as I said, consider all of this uh, like your staging server. So uh, you will be able to access it and you will be able to show this to your clients. But, but since it's on this weird domain, uh, we are not going to consider it to be a production server. This is something, uh, these are the links that you would maybe show to your clients or test it for yourself or something like that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to do another test and I'm just going to change something right here to hello Zeit one more time. Save this and just do now again. As you can see, it's deployed and we can go to our browser and maybe refresh this page right here. And it's going to say hello Zite one more time. Now, as I said, consider this as your staging servers. So how do we get this to quote unquote production? As you can imagine, for Zite, it's very easy. You just go to your dashboard and then you go to domains. Now you can, of course, buy a domain right from here, or even you can buy a domain even from your console by doing now buy or something like that. Uh, or you can add a domain, which you already have, for example, or you can add a new domain, uh, actually free uh, now sh domain. So I'm going to select my awesome site since I'm not going to be using any real domains for, for this, I'm going to do a go with a now sh free domain and I'm going to do continue. And now uh, we are going to say, so my uh, website.com, uh, you can add any domains of your own subdomains or free now sh domains. So I'm going to do something like awesome site 
www.now.sh Okay, so the domain awesome site now sh will be added free of charge. You can add it, and that's it. Now this is your production domain, and it says right here if you want to push something to production, uh, then you have you have to do uh, now dash dash prod. So as you can see, it's currently deploying our site to that domain. You would of course do this once your project is ready for the people to see. Okay, so it's deployed right now. And if we go to uh, my awesome site dot now dot sh, we will be greeted with hello site. So this is cool for two reasons, right? So this is our production server, quote unquote. Uh, we want to do some changes and then we want to show that changes to our client or just test it out ourselves. So what we can do, we can just go to our uh, code editor and we can do uh, one one more time or whatever, right? I'm not good at, at examples. So I'm just going to save this and do now again. Okay, so this is now deployed, but let's take a look at this, right? So this is awesome site.now.sh. And as you can see, it still says hello site, but our our staging server actually says hello site one one more time, right? So uh, our client has seen this, it he says it's okay we can publish it to the production. So how do we publish it to production? Well, we just do now dash dash prod. So this way, our production and our staging will be synced, right? If we go to awesome site that now sh refresh it. Now it says hello site one one more time. So this is basically how Zite works. I'm not going to go into much details here, although they are many. And you can, of course, check out the documentation for Zite to find out what more you can do. Uh, but if you want to know more about Zite on this channel, please just let me know down in the comments and maybe uh, give me some topics to cover. Uh, one thing I can uh, think on top of my head is maybe those GitHub or GitLab integrations. So anyway, this has been it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.